Welcome to Get Up on ESPN from our Seaport Studios in New York. Mike Greenberg, Rex Ryan, Dan Orlovsky, and Ryan Clark are here coming off of what was a crazy night, the final game of the NFL season. Doug Peterson making a decision to pull his starting quarterback, Jalen Hurts, at the beginning of the fourth quarter of a game that impacted so many teams' playoff positioning, though not his. Rex Ryan, what did you think of the decision? Yeah, I thought it was a ridiculous decision, and it's one that the entire NFL fan base it was just like, what the heck is going on here? It just boggles your mind. And to me, it leads questions on what is Doug Peterson's future of this football team? You've had issues with your quarterback that the organization gave $100 million to. You couldn't make that work. Now you're pulling your quarterback and embarrassing our franchise. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with Doug Peterson. R Ryan Clark, how, what was your reaction when you saw it? When you saw that this change had been made and that there was no injury involved, what thoughts went through your mind? My first thought was game over because I immediately, immediately knew that the Philadelphia Eagles weren't trying to win this game anymore. My second thought was in the year that the NFL had to fight through a pandemic to bring you 256 games, they should have left it at 255 because Doug Peterson obviously wasn't competing into the end. He obviously wasn't refusing to lose and to make a decision that because a guy's been there four years, he deserves to play. What is this high school? Did his parents come? Is it senior night? Are they walking across the field? Filled with roses. And so when you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, you have more questions now heading into the offseason than you had heading into this game. And that's not the place you expect it to be. Well, let's talk about some of those decisions they have to make, Dan Orlovsky, because earlier in the day, our Chris Mortensen, insider extraordinaire, reported that the relationship between the head coach, Doug Peterson, and the star quarterback, Carson Wentz, he of the $100 million quarterback who was a, uh, a contract, who was a healthy yeah. scratch last night, that that relationship has been broken beyond repair. So, Dan, now what? I just don't think that Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles have a future together, Greeny. And, and, and the quarterback and coach relationship is the most important one in the building. It's like a husband and wife, and it's built upon trust. And trust takes years to build. It takes seconds to break and forever to repair. And I think that trust between Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson to the reports is broken. And it's not going to get fixed in six or seven months when next season starts. And I don't think that Carson Wentz wants to be there. I think that Doug Peterson looking at the situation going, it's not working out. This hasn't happened the way that we thought it would post the 2017 season and that awesome run they went on. And so the Eagles have to figure out, is it Doug Peterson or Carson Wentz? Because I don't think they could do both. If they want Doug Peterson, if they think he's the right coach, then they have to move on from Carson Wentz. If they want Carson Wentz and think he could be great again, then they have to move on from Doug Peterson. That's what's going to be the fascinating part over the next couple of days watching in Philadelphia. Rex, will there be teams out there dying for Carson Wentz? Will there be coaches out there who will look at him and say, I can turn him into a superstar quarterback? Yeah, the obvious one would be Frank Reich, who had him obviously win. Carson Wentz was playing at an MVP level. So, yes, you can't ignore the talent this young man has. Can he do better with a fresh start? He probably can, but Frank Wright will be the, the spot I would think would best suit Carson Wentz. Who is now the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. They have the aging quarterback there themselves in Phillip Rivers, so that could be a spot that makes some sense. But again, the contract is going to be complicated for Rex and for Dan and for RC. Greeny here in our Seaport Studios. Again, this is Get Up on ESPN. We're with you every weekday morning starting at 8 Eastern and then again on ESPN2 starting at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Get up and we will see you later. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.